So hey guys, welcome back in Korean Bangla YT and another part of our Unreal Engine Blueprint Code Learning. So this is the part number three. If you didn't check our previous part, so please check or you can check our playlist. Okay. So in this video, we'll learn what is uh, find, look at look. Uh, rotation get random uh, reachable points get actor location get actor uh, rotation spawn actor from class uh, set actor rotation set actor uh, location and also set actor location and rotation and self so we'll be learn so first of all let's learn what is basically uh, the self okay yeah what is self the self is mean that which player or which character you are using if you want you can get his all data by this one block that is self but make sure for using the self you must need to inside of that character class it's mean that just thing you want to use the your third person player and inside of your third person player okay you want to basically go inside of his class like inside of his third person you can search the self so you can get his self reference because some of cases we must need his uh third person data that's why okay because we learned ourselves so it's mean that the self is also work like basically the reference of the whole class okay so it's mean that if you are any boolean in our third person so we can basically call that boolean okay so but make sure for a uh, casting this thing you must need to uh, instead of that third person player okay however now let's talk about what is basically the get actor location and get actor rotation basically it's mean if you want to get what is basically your uh, actor location in your world so as you can see we can see in our details panel that the location and the rotation but in unreal engine if you want to search in blueprint code by if you want to verify that location or rotation because some of cases we must need that that's why so at that case if you want your actual location and rotation so how we get by these two blocks that is get actual lo location and rotation okay so you can connect it with self and with self so it's mean that if it's connected with yourself but make sure it's need a target the target is basically which player like there's a lots of actors in your world so which actors of location you want in it right now so i want my this character reference and in my, just my character location so for that i'll be search here that first of all the self and so once i get the self reference what i do i simply uh, connect it with my get actor location now it will be give me the location of my actor okay so we can verify with our begin play let's call this with a print string so we can test that in live that what is the basically right location or rotation or not so but make sure that every location or rotation convert to a vector the vector call basically instead of the vector there's a three uh, float variable available so if you click on split so you can see there's a, some three uh, float values uh, we can use was one is x one is y and one is z if you uh, just see your details panel you find the simulation like the similar that your location x that is your x the your location y that is your this y the uh, location z that is your z okay so now let's try to get our location x value okay let's see that what is basically our value uh, like where is basically we are so as you can see now details that is minus 700 uh, 760 so let's click on play so as you can see uh, it's saying that zero but why so let me sh uh, show you because uh, in our world we are in a zero positions okay so let's try to use with the print string because as i said that for getting uh, this uh, working you must need to uh, inside of your basically in your third person so let's give go with our third person use the event tick and with the event tick at uh, here we'll be get our self uh, location now we can basically check that what is basically our location so now let's click on play so as you can see our basically location as you can see the minus 760 the float is 140 and other details whatever in our details panels we found as i said that for executing any of self reference you must need to instead of that class okay so as you can see after when we when we go instead of that class it's now we can see the value okay so we learned that what is basically this location okay the rotation is also the same but uh, at here you can see the pitch roll and yeah the roll is mean basically your like this one this one okay and basically the pitch is your basically this one to left to right 
and your basically the yeah is it is your up and down okay like up and down okay if i show you the actor like this up and down okay so you can also get like the same thing okay we already learned that what is basically this stuff so we can also couple a uh, couple okay we can unpin this thing simple way okay okay we already learned this thing so let's uh, make them sides so it will be help us to learn other scores okay so let me okay so now let's le learn about what is basically the spawn actor from class this spawn actor from class is basically if you want to just think that you want to add a actor kind of like just this cube in your world so we'll add from details so how you can do if we are inside of game like we want to spawn a bullet or we want to spawn kind of like anything so how we can use this block called spawn actor so at here we can set the class that which cl class of we want to uh you know basically want to spawn so just saying i want to spawn a cube okay so let me cre uh, create a blueprint class and an actor and let's say give it name cube mine okay so it will be help me to basically find that cube basically so now let's add basically the a cube inside of our game in, uh, in sorry inside of our actor as soon as we add it now let's come in our basically at here now let's search our this thing that cub cube my uh, sorry and as you can see the cube my and as you can see it's come now as i said that for spawning anything we need a location okay that why we want to spawn him like what is he should be location what is his basically the rotation and the stuff okay so as you can see they give you this uh, spawn transformation that is basically the all data so if you click on split so you find that they give you the location rotation and scale okay this scale is basically the size that how much you want you can set the rotation and location for now we want to spawn this thing we can set any of location so just think that we want to spawn him at this position okay so let's copy this data so there's also a one more way you can if you want the whole of data so if you want don't want to copy them separate separately you can click on a location then right mouse then copy the data and you can come at here and then basically you can paste it at here all the data will become okay so sorry not like that you need to paste the data where is the you need to basically say this position and there should be a paste option come i'm not sure that why it's not coming so i think we need to do everything manually so yeah let's do this thing i think it should be work i'm not sure so you can also do like this minimize so let's say 400 then that one is uh, minus 80 and j is 250 okay the values is now set let's now rem remove our this cube because we don't need anymore now we can go even begin play and this will be spawn also they have a collisions that if you want you can use his default collision or you can change up the collisions now let's compile and save now let's try to play and as you can see there's a cube spawn okay because it's spawn because we already give the data that to spawn okay also we found a return value the return value is basically the actor reference basically which actor we uh, spawn at here we can get his reference all the data by return value okay okay we already learned the spawn actor from class now let's learn other stuff like there's uh, some more option available that the actor rotation location and the stuff these three are pretty similar that basically which actor just thing you add at your world every actor have their location and rotation if you want you can change his location rotation and other stuff if it's already in your game okay like if it's already your game if you can change his location rotation and other stuff with that the set actor location that is a specific block that only it will be changed the location kind of like by default it will be kind of like this thing so if i connect it with my self reference so it will be set my location location uh, uh, set my all the location x y z to zero and there's also a option available that swipe and teleport okay so also we can verify something more that it's working or not and other stuff okay so as you can see that if we change at here any value so it will be also change up in our world after then running our program okay so but make sure it will be only affect in location it will be not affect any of rotation or scale okay if you want to only do the same thing for the only rotation you don't want to change the lo location you are only want the rotation so you can use this block called set actor rotation okay but make sure for searching this value you must need that actor 
uh, reference and from that you need to search like that set a c t or actor now sorry uh, set or you can search that rotation uh, rotate and as i said we can't do instead of here we must need to instead of that class so say, uh, set rotation and here as you can see the all the rotation value has been come actor rotation and other stuff as i said we also we must need to set here uh, instead of, we must need to uh, you know that class okay so as we learned that that is basically they said a uh, rotation there's also a option available available for teleport physics and also that is the same if you speed that you find the x y and z value that is the same for the our location also you find the x y and z uh, values so for change if with a float value okay so now let's learn if you want to do the both thing okay with uh, set actual location and rotation it will be changed but make sure just think that you are using you are only want to change the location but you don't don't want to change the rotation but if you executing this one so it will be also run or set your actor rotation to zero 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 so make sure that if you don't need this thing so they and really give you the separate option so use that separate option option okay nice we already learned this stuff so let's make them a sides now let's learn about this two thing first of uh, find look at rotation what this block this is very important uh this block is most of cases are uh, to find basically just thing that you want to verify that uh, what is basically this actor look uh you know the looking that how he looking are he, uh, how he look to us like how you can make a straight line that he look to us this is basically us and this is our ai so how we can make the program that he look uh, only at us like here only seeing us how we can make that system so for that you can use with uh, basically find look at uh, rotation as we learned previous that uh, we can get you see to your actor locations by that we can basically get our uh, original actor location and with that if we, we can connect it with the start and the target is basically uh, which one basically the start is basically the self that if we are the ai and the target is uh, which object we are looking okay so we need to just set his uh, actual location so from that we will be find a rotation value so we can now change our actor to rotate at that uh, you know positions okay or that look so you can combine them and connect it like this thing okay also you can you can split this thing if you want only x y or z anything okay now let's learn that what is get random reachable point this is for the navigation map if you want to make a ai that is uh, randomly uh, roaming kind of like you find a random places for go for that reason you can use the get random reachable points of radius the original is mean that basically you get actor original location kind of like if i show you let's make a ai uh, with a duplicate now let's double click and open and instead of that we can in even begin play what you can do that let me first of all remove this thing uh, get uh, get random reachable points okay so now at original we can get actor uh, we can get uh, location also it will also help us to find that thing very good uh, easily okay so that is the original and then we can set the radius that how much radius we want basically the how much float range we want to uh, basically pick the location okay point so we can set it to kind of like our uh, 20,000 float value and then we found the randomly location so now we can uh, set ai move to but if you want you can set like this thing like ai move to or you can use something else kind of like self reference so now we need the selves to get his data and the target we don't need now compile and save now if i just drag and drop our ai at here so then you can see that it's picking a random location so as you can see he picked that random location let's try again uh, sometime he will become fail make sure if it's uh, as you can see he's try to find this location okay so like that basically our that's why you can make also a ai with get a random reachable point so guys that is enough for today i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video